a uh, painful event for me because I promise you, I uh, I uh, I felt like we could play with these guys, and uh, I uh, felt like we could run the football with them and throw um, efficiently, not necessarily the deep ball down the field, but that uh, efficient throw. And uh, and I think I think we're going to be that. It's a uh, an ability that. Uh, that we have on our team to play efficient and be a better offense because it's very difficult for us to, to uh, critically look at that defense and know that they were going to be on the field for the great majority of that time. So uh, anyways, I, uh, I like my team. I think they're going to develop. I uh, never had a team this young but it's a damn good team and the young guys are the best. So I, uh, I like some of the veterans certainly, and they'll play for, play with us till we get, till they exceed their um, schooling. And, uh, but I like, I like where we're going, obviously the, the uh, the opportunity has got to be made for us to make the most of it as we go forward. So, questions? Les, were you guys hit hard by COVID this week? Velton missed the game. Several linemen. I mean, you don't want to make excuses, but that's a lot of players to go without. Can you guys ask that again? Can you hear us? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you, Can you ask that again, Gary? Thank you. Les, you guys were missing a lot, a lot of guys, Velton Gardner, linemen all over the place. Were you hit by COVID this week? Yes, we were. We uh, right in the center of our defense um, times two. And then we, we've lost a couple of guys further to injury that, uh, you know, Belton being one and really a, a couple of um, Knicks, not uh, major knees, but Knicks. And uh, yeah. Do you have an update on, on Jalen's health? Yeah, uh, the, up, the updates what I have when I walk by him and I, he says it feels a lot better. And uh, I don't know to what extent that means, but uh, I know he's a, uh, he's going to work hard and do everything he can to be back because uh, I don't know exactly how bad. So. When you were watching him lay there on the ground, he was kind of in an awkward uh, position. What, what was going through your mind after that hit? Well, he, he got hit a lot of times in that game. And uh, I, uh, we can't treat our quarterback that way or we won't have one. And that's the, that's a fact. And, uh, hey, Les, what, what can you do with your offensive line? Well, I, uh, I really think that they're, and this is what's, you know, hard, that they're capable. I mean, I really think that they're a capable football team, a football in the offensive line. I think they're capable of playing it. And uh, what can you do with them? Continue to work them. We're going to open date, and and at some point in time, the uh, there'll be some young guys shooting ahead. And if that's what happens, that's what happens. But um, I uh, I'm not certain. Les, hey. given the given the struggles of the offensive line, is there any part of you that? You know, given the fact that you you guys are so high on Jalen and his part in the future, would you reconsider starting him if the O line doesn't get better? Um, I, are you saying that we would consider starting? Um, would you Daniel? would you would you consider whether it's worth it to continue starting Jalen if the offensive line doesn't get better? 
um, would I consider not taking taking my starter and sitting him on the bench while I play my um, offensive line? Probably not. Probably I would. Uh, I would work this offensive line harder and longer, and uh, and I would uh, make sure that they understood the technique that they needed to have. Um, but uh, again, I uh, they improved, and it just goes to show you that this is a really pretty good uh, Sooner football team. I didn't expect that they would that uh, they would run around our tackles like they did. And uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to see this film, to be honest with you, this very strong indicators. Hey, Les, uh, wanted to ask you, uh, and, and maybe this is hard to think of in, in just the heat of the moment, but going back to 2019, your first recruiting class, you guys uh, didn't take any scholarship offensive linemen. Uh, looking back on that. Well, and, and here's, yeah, but here's the thing. It's not that you don't take them. You can't take players that are not good enough, and you can't take players that um, will not develop. And if you do, you're, you're making a tremendous mistake. I promise you, we looked at every one of those guys, and the guys that we had – teed up were frankly just not capable and uh we're uh we're gonna move um, um on a on, on this next class and the class um in in back of it are really good offensive line classes so yeah we would uh we like the cable dues in that group Hey, Coach, I wanted to ask about uh, Luke Grimm really quickly. Uh, he had a couple of nice plays today. How did you feel like he played? And then what have you seen out of his relationship with Jalen Daniels? Are you talking about Luke Grimm? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, he is going to be a – he's going to be something. And uh, and they do have a nice relationship. I mean, they, they know that uh, that Luke can make a, a pretty spectacular uh, play on the ball and come down with it. And uh, I think that that's a great friend for a quarterback in duress. Hey, is, is this as overmatched as you've felt this year or maybe in your two years now at KU? Overmatched? Yeah, you, you want to tell you what? I still, I still don't feel like they're, they, uh, you know, that we can't play with them. I didn't say we'd beat them, but – Certainly, I thought that we would play with them today and give ourselves a chance to beat them late in the game. But uh, now nah, it didn't happen that day, that way. Hey, Les, any thought at, at moving Malik away from left tackle? Have you guys considered that at all? Um, we, we kind of um, – um, we're going to kind of rely on the line coach to make that decision, um, kind of. But we're, we'll we'll uh, we'll certainly consider those moves. But uh, I uh, I think that uh, that uh, Luke or Meadows or line coach will kind of stand in there. Um, I like him. I think he's he has mobility and. And has, you know, he's a natural guard, which we all see. But he's also has really strong mobility. It would be interesting to see how many um, pressures and sacks that that line actually gave up. Hey, what, what, happened, with, uh, what happened with Chris Hughes today? Uh, I think you mentioned some other guys that were out, but why was Chris it? Chris Hughes was hurt. And uh, he'll probably be back after the open date. We're, uh, you know, we're nicked up. I mean, if there isn't any question that there's a couple of guys, the Steph Robinsons, the, uh, the, the uh, Lawrence uh, Arnold, the uh, good player from Texas. I mean, I just, you know, you, you probably could put a good roster together just with the guys that we have nicked. 
So, and the good news is, is they're not major surgeries and they're not, you know, going to be um, out for, for quite some time. I mean, next fall is the spring viable at times with these guys. So. Hey, looking hey, at their defense today, what do you see as maybe the, the biggest issue is they put up so many points? That they were that the offense that was running football. I mean, if you if you looked at the NFL games, you know, as, as we were driving here, I was watching the uh, the uh, the abilities that the the NFL, you know, worked in in a nice tandem, offense, defense, and special teams. And if you take a a piece of your offense, defense, and special teams, it's like you, you, can't, you can't succeed. If, if, if the special teams breaks down, then it, there's an issue. If the um, defense is on the field the whole day or um, quickly three and outs, um, there's, there's, a, there's a problem for the defense. The defense is, you know, looking at, 92, 90, I don't know how many they, they have here today, but oh, it's good. It's better. It's uh, 500, excuse me, 67 um, opportunities at, uh, at place. But uh, I guess what I'm saying to you is, is our football team has to win in three categories. And right now, we're really now functioning at one. And if we can, kind of get that, you know, back in place with uh, the high Shaws and those people would be in pretty good shape. One hey, more coach. coach. Hey, Coach, uh, I believe by my count you had uh, 11 players from Oklahoma uh, on your squad. What did it mean to bring those guys back here and, and uh, to bring them to their home state? Uh, they, uh, they're, 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 they're quietly smiling. You know, they, want, they wanted to – to play and play well for um, for their team, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's the 